Edward Dimitrik's seven rules, which I think are very interesting. Um, number, rule number one was um, never cut without a reason. So if a shot um, doesn't need, um, it, so if you can't justify a cut, then don't cut at all, essentially. That means. Um, uh, rule number two was um, when you're undecided about a frame to cut on, cut long rather than short. And what that means is um, extend it, um, cut later rather than cut early. Um, always cut on action when possible, because um, that's a really great way of um, uh, smoothing over a cut, because that's what you really want to do, um, is make everything smooth. Uh, as smooth as you can, unless unless there's a creative reason for not doing that. And that's that's a that's an important thing to mention about all these rules. Actually, um, these rules are okay to be broken if you can justify doing so creatively. Um, uh, another of the rules is um, all scenes should begin and end with continuing the action. And what that means is. Um, I once saw a short film where there was a guard patrolling uh, up and down. And it cuts to the shot of the guard, and he's just standing there for about half a second, and then he starts walking. And it, you know, it feels very staged. It, it feels very awkward. And so in that situation, um, you'll cut much later, and you'll cut while he's in the middle of his walk to make it look continuous. And uh, the last two rules are pretty much the same thing. Um, cut for proper values rather than proper matches, and substance first, then form. That's basically um, the same as what the uh, rule of six was saying, which is saying um, choose emotion, story, and rhythm above um, more technical considerations like 2D continuity and 3D continuity. Of course, you should get all of them, but if you can't, they should be the first ones to sacrifice.